WCW presents Slim Jim's Halloween Havoc. Live from the MGM Grand in the Garden Arena, Sunday, October 27th. Next Sunday, here's a very special starting time of 8 o'clock. That's 8 o'clock Eastern time on a Sunday night. 5 o'clock local time. Jim Powers, what a tremendous athlete he is, makes his way in here on Worldwide Wrestling. Like I've said this before about Jim Powers, I've known this man for a long time. Not well, not personally, but I've known of him. He's probably in the best shape right there, look at him, that he's ever been in in his life. He has more experience under his belt, but he's against the man they call the Canadian Crippler. He's a member of the Four Horsemen, and I just don't think Mr. Powers has much of a chance against Mr. Benoit. You may be wondering here about tickets for Las Vegas. If you live in the Las Vegas area, tickets are available at the MGM Grand and Garden Box Office for all Ticketmaster locations. The event, the tickets, of course, are on sale now. We expect a capacity crowd on hand. Do not be left out. And make sure you join us. It is all coming your way next Sunday, exclusively on pay-per-view. World Championship Wrestling presents Slim Jim's Halloween Havoc live at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Chris Benoit. He's got a tough match coming up. He really does. Chris Benoit and Steve Mongo McMichael. And Slim Jim's Halloween Havoc against the Faces of Fear. You know, uh, they've been traveling together a lot, Benoit and McMichael. McMichael been very, very efficient, so to speak, with that Albert briefcase. Well, you know, you have to you have to travel together. You have to get to know each other. You have to get to know the personality. When I used to manage tag teams, I'd make them stay together all the time. I'd make them share rooms together. I'd make them share cars together. I'd make them share buffet meals together. I'd put them back in coach in the last row so they'd sit together and get to know each other and could blend and just so they'd have a great time together. No, that's not the reason. The reason is money. You probably gave them $5 a day per diem to eat on. And you set up in first class. I know you. It's not my fault what they do with their money. I give them enough to live on. They were doing fine. Don't start that stuff now. I know all about what you've done to your tag team wrestling. Benoit comes in the hard way here. Up and over to the right side they go. Power showing his tremendous quickness. A couple of blows to the gut with the foot. A reversal. Benoit just absorbed those gut busters. Oh! Wow! But you do have to get to know your partner. You? you really do. And I'll tell you, the faces of fear know each other very, very well. So the traveling uh, McMichaels and Benoit together is a smart move. It's a very smart move. And no, I didn't do that to the people I managed. I used to send them nuts to the back. Did you really? It's not my fault the bag was empty by the time I got there. Is there any, any truth to the rumor that they had to share a room with the Motel 6 while you were at the Hyatt? No, it was the Motel 4. Oh. <laughs> but I got a day rate. Yeah, that's, that's all they needed. Yeah. It was, it was a roll away, and I didn't get pulled out of the wall. It's fine. They weren't big guys. They charge you for towels there at the Motel 4. Uh, in the odd years. Uh, backhand chop. But we'll leave the light on. Yeah. Someone don't steal it. The midsection. Benoit trying a uh -oh. jawbreaker. But no, holding on to the ropes there, Jim Howard. You may be wondering where his manager, Teddy Long, is. Well, we do understand Teddy Long is out doing some community work for World Championship Wrestling in the Atlanta, Georgia area right now. One, two, could not be here this week with his protege, Jim Howard. No, he's not. Well, where is he then? We've taken him to the hospital. And they have. Wow. Serious neck damage. Neck damage. You know that thing they, they put bowling balls in where they shine them up? Yeah. Well, he'd been over and his head fell in there and he shined two of his ears and the top of his head so bright that they had to take him to the hospital at third degree burn. That's where he goes to have his head polished. Not many people know that. We're making them up as we go, fans. There's Benoit now on the receiving end of some offense from Jim Powers. Powers into the midsection, a knee left. Jim Powers may be a few moments away here from securing a great win. But he's gonna have to stay on Benoit. I mean, stay on him like a cheap suit. Put to the face. How about that reverse clothesline? Back of the head. Up on top is Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. Oh! The big swan dive. He was on target. One, two, three. 
Howard's taking that boot to the mush. That took a lot out of him. And then that clothesline from behind, I don't think he recovered from that one. Horseman continue to roll here in World Championship Wrestling. And Chris Benoit awaits There's the only face one of the fear. The symbol of excellence. You're not getting to this. The four horsemen. No, they've never had a bad member. I guess never they had a bad member. I guess they haven't. Let's take a look one more time, Brain. Be glad you if they show it to me. There it is. Benoit catches powers high. Drops him across that top rope. Obviously, you can see that. This is television humanoids. Benoit gets the win for the one, two, three. The Crippler.